Welcome back. Today is Wednesday and we're taking you to another interesting place in the world for Where Is It Wednesday? That's right. And this week we are headed to the historical heart of Japan. That's right. We are going to Kyoto. Kyoto, officially Kyoto City, was Japan's capital for over a thousand years. It's one of the country's 10 largest cities, but it's known for its compact city streets and tranquil temples and shrines. The city has immense historical value as it was excluded from the list of target cities for the atomic bomb. Based on our research, we recommend visiting in the spring when weather is mildest and the cherry blossoms are in full bloom. Join us as we show you the beautiful blend of Kyoto's modern life and ancient past. There's tons of outdoor recreation opportunities in Kyoto. According to TripAdvisor, you can hike to the summit of Mount Pon Pon, a nearly 2,000-foot mountain that offers views of the rural landscape. Or immerse yourself in nature and take a guided walking tour of a bamboo grove. And while you're outdoors, see if you can spot any Japanese pond turtles, wild boars, and even snow monkeys. Snow monkeys? Mm. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Kyoto is a center of traditional Japanese culture and Buddhism, and as a result, Countless temples, shrines, and other historically priceless structures exist in the city today. The Kamigamo Shrine is the oldest, over 1,300 years old. And the Niju Castle is another popular attraction, a former residence of the Shogun. Or stop by the Imperial Sento Palace to see some beautiful Zen rock gardens and chill out a little bit. Mm. <laughs> Japan is revered for its delicious and innovative varieties of food, and the same is true here in Kyoto. In the fresh food markets of central Kyoto, you'll apparently find fresh seafood, produce, sweets, and of course, lots of sushi. And now I want sushi at 6.30 in the morning. Yeah, <laughs> could eat the, sushi any time of day. Oh, absolutely. Well, the whole of Japan is pretty famous for matcha or powdered green tea, but in Kyoto, you'll find lots of matcha-flavored treats and bags of matcha to take home with you. You can also enjoy a traditional Japanese tea ceremony. Just don't forget your kimono. Overall, there's plenty of local specialties to enjoy in Kyoto. And that wraps it up for another edition of Where's It Wednesday. If you have a suggestion of a place you'd like us to visit next week, just send us a message on our socials.